let's talk about our fall bulbs. What's up, YouTube? Welcome to the garden. Welcome to Horticulture Geek. I'm Ray, and today let's talk about our fall bulbs because believe it or not, it is time to get those ordered. Um, I know it's hot, it's the middle of August. The last thing that we're thinking about most of us right now is getting those fall bulbs ordered, but it is absolutely time, especially if you have certain things that you are wanting to get your hands on for next spring, you have to get those locked in and ordered now so that you will have the availability. So today, um, since I'm here in zone 7B, Central Arkansas in the South, I thought I would show you guys where I get my bulbs, the vast majority of them, and how I go about doing that. Because tulip bulbs are not necessarily known for being very strong down here in the South. So how do we ensure or attempt to ensure that we have good successful growing season with our tulips and other bulbs um, and this year I um, have not ordered any daffodils I think I've got enough daffodils so I focused on the tulips this year um, so I am gonna jump in and show you guys what I do and I'm gonna share with you this website that I use I've used it for years and that is color blends so colorblends.com and so what I think I'm gonna do is actually flip the camera around and show you the computer and walk you through how I make sure I get the best bulbs for me down here in the South and ensure success. But these tips and tricks can be used by anybody in any region and anywhere you are. So hang tight, let's get on the website and look for some bulbs. All right, so here we are at the website. So this is Color Blends Wholesale Flower Bulbs, which is colorblends.com. Now, I know some other big channels have talked about the tulips here before on this um, website, and there's other wonderful bulbs you can get. But like I said, I have been using Color Blends for years, um, and I love them. Now, I have not always had success. Like again, being here in the South, um, it is hard to always have success with our color, with our tulips and other spring bulbs. Daffodils usually do wonderfully here for us. They naturalize, they spread, they go crazy. But the tulips and hyacinths and other things, we can have some issues here. We don't get cold enough winters and we get such a hot spring and summer that they just don't fare well. But there is a workaround and Color Blends is honestly one of the best websites that I have found for us in the South to deal with that. And it's super simple. Um, you can see across the top here, they have their categories, tulips, daffodils, hyacinths, alliums, which are the onions. Um, so ornamental onions, their specialty, there's indoor tools, shop by, inspiration, and a new. So if you live up North or in a more colder climate, you can just go ahead and click on tulips and it will pull up the full catalog of all the different tulips they offer. And they offer single varieties as well as custom blends or mixes. And that's really what Color Blends is known for is their groupings of tulips. So you can see here um, all the different things that they have to offer here. Um, so let's click on Tulip Blends and you can see what they have. Okay, whoa, I got a little carried away. So let's just click on them. This is a French blend right here. You can see it's beautiful. And if I click on that, and let the computer, there it goes. So then it's gonna tell you about this particular blend here. So an all color mixture of long stemmed tulips, bright as lantern globes and nearly as large. We suggest you plant them for use in flower arrangements. They're also terrific in the garden. So each bag contains at least seven different varieties and all of these varieties bloom in late spring. So you can see every tulip bulb is gonna have this light, this scale on it. They're gonna bloom early, mid or late spring. And then I can scroll on down and you can see their pricing and their amounts. And there's a few other little 
things down here about them. So it's really handy, good information. The zones that they're recommended for, so you can see um, 3A to 8B is the limit. Um, and their planting guides are here and all this information is here. So it's really good information. But here's what I'm interested in. I wanna know what specifically works for me in the South. And this is where Color Blends does a good job. So we're gonna click on Shop By. And we're gonna scroll down for the South. So Color Blends has done all the work for us here. And they have put all the bulbs in one category here for us to easily scroll through. Um, so these are bulbs that will work in zones 7B through 10. Now, the bulbs still do require pre-chilling, so you have to know that. So you can't just order a tulip from this company and throw it in the ground and expect success. So you still have to pre-chill it. The bulb still has to have its needs met. But once the bulb's needs are met, these are the varieties that will absolutely hang with our climate and put on good displays. So you can see, I'm just gonna slowly scroll through here and kind of let you see, I mean, you can go look at this yourself, all the different things that we have to choose from here in the South. So I chose several varieties for my garden here um, for this fall. And here is the first one. So I have ordered Dorjon. Dor Dorjon, however you say that. I'm probably butchering that. I get a lot of comments all the time about my crazy Southern accent. So for all of you Northerners who are watching me right now and laughing hysterically, um, this is what you get here. I'm just gonna go with Dordon is the variety name there. So, but I am absolutely in love with this tulip. I think it's going to be stunning in the garden this year. Um, and what I've chosen to do is kind of do my own mix. So I've got several things coming. And here, let's look at this here. Give you a different view of that tulip. And then there's a mass planting picture of it as well. So I'm super excited about that one. Um, and here, let me just pop into my cart here. So here is my cart here. Um, and so you can see I've got four different tulips that I have ordered this year. So I've got Dordon, Minton, Blushing Lady, and Akbono. Ak Akbono. Again, there you go. Um, and I have ordered a hundred of each of these varieties, or hundred, I think I, I downsized it. I'm gonna get a hundred of each of these varieties. So 400 tulips are coming to me here. So I've already showed you the Dordon. So let's go look at Minton, Blushing Lady, and Occubono. So here is this one, Occubona, Occubona, however you say it. So that's gonna go with the Dordone. And it is a middle to mid late bloomer, you can see there. And I'm just, I love the way that it's looking. I think that'll be really pretty. All right, so let's scroll down here. We'll run across Blushing Lady. Here is Blushing Lady. So you can see I kind of went with a pinky, yellowy display for this coming up spring. So Blushing Lady is again a mid to mid late. And then let's go look at our last one, which is the Minton. It is down the board just a ways right there. There she is. So here is Minton. And I was actually introduced to this tulip, the Minton, um, here at a 
local botanical garden um, here in Arkansas. The University of Arkansas operates a botanical garden in Hot Springs, Arkansas called Garvin Woodland Gardens. And every spring they have a tulip festival. Um, and this is one of the tulips that they had there on display and it was absolutely stunning. It was a showstopper and so I knew I wanted it. And so I built the, uh, the, this blend, that's custom blend that I'm doing, I built it around this tulip. So I really felt like the other three varieties that I ordered all played well together. They all have the same hues. Cause you can see the mitten has the pink, but it has kind of the orangey, yellowy borders. So I'm super excited So about this order. So this is what I'm going with and this is a late. So you can see I'm going for a mid to late tulip display. Um, and I will have more tulips, but these 400 that I've got here are my big tulip displays in the front of the house. Um, and I will get other tulips to smatter around the garden, but I wanted to share these with you and specifically show you guys how I go about making sure that I get a successful um, tulip show. Now, let me flip this camera around. All right, so now that I've shown you the tulip bulbs and the Color Blends website. Um, I'm over here sitting on the patio. The cicadas are going nuts. Um, grasshoppers are chirping away, whatever it is. So if it's a little loud, I'm sorry. But it is a beautiful night out here. And so I thought it'd be fun to sit on the patio and finish up this video with you guys. So tulip bulbs in the south. So I've showed you where I get my bulbs from. Um, and if you shop at um, a local reputable garden center, your local reputable garden centers will also get good reliable tulip bulbs. So you can, instead of, if you don't want to order in bulk like that, um, if you want to go and pick something up locally, absolutely you should be able to do that. Um, the thing you want to remember about tulips in the south is that since our winters do not get extremely cold, those bulbs have to be pre-chilled. Um, and they have to be in a cold pre-chilled environment for like 10 weeks. Um, in order for that bulb to produce the flowers for next year. Um, with color blends, I pay for the option of having them do the pre-chilling for me because you have to be careful if like, if you want to put tulip bulbs in your refrigerator, there are certain things that you cannot put in a refrigerator with tulip bulbs. Um, like apples, for example, you, you, you cannot have those two together the gases that the apples emit will destroy the tulip bulbs, kill them, they won't be viable anymore. So unless you're willing to really have tulips clogged up in your refrigerator for 10 weeks with nothing else in there, um, I always just pay the extra money to have color blends do that pre-chill for me. Sorry, an ambulance is going by. So you probably hear that. All right, um, and it is so worth it. And with color blends and with other, there are other reputable companies out there as well. Like I'll, I'll also order some from Holland Bulb Farms. Um, I do not order bulk bulbs from Holland, um, but they have some very unique bulbs that I pick up from them. And theirs usually come at like 10 bulbs a bag, 15 bulbs a bag, you know, whatever their, their counts are. Um, color blends really is the one who does the bulk bulbs so if you're wanting to do a hundred two hundred four hundred a thousand bulb display um, color blends is really a great option but there are absolutely other companies out there um, so do your research find one that suits you um, just like anything else in gardening um, you may go to the color blends website and it may not speak to you you may not like it um, you may find it confusing but you go over to the um, Holland Bulb Farms website and love it. Um, Eden Brothers has some bulbs. Um, Van Engel has tons and tons of bulbs. So there's places out there to get them. But my bottom line recommendation for people in the South is make sure the bulbs will work in your climate. Do your homework, do your research, and then make sure those bulbs are pre-chilled. And then when you get them, plant them at the right time. And that's the other thing that uh, Color Blends and some of the other reputable companies will do that work for you. 
So the bulbs I've ordered from Color Blends will not come to me. They don't even ship them until December. So it'll be the middle of December before I get bulbs. And I know some people up north, by the middle of December, your ground is so frozen, you probably have two or three feet of snow on the ground already. You can't even fathom planting bulbs. But here in Arkansas, in December, it's gonna be chilly, but we're not gonna be frozen solid yet. And so it will, should be no problem for me to plant these bulbs in December. And that's why Color Blends waits to ship them to me. So I've picked out a good reliable bulb. I've had them pre-chilled it correctly. They didn't ship it to me until the correct time. And then I put them in the ground. And when I put them in the ground, I also include my Biotone or bulb fertilizers that are appropriate to give those bulbs the very best um, start that I can give them so that hopefully I have a wonderful bulb display. So with all that being said, I hope you guys have enjoyed this quick video. Um, I hope maybe it has answered some of your questions, um, especially for you Southern gardeners who are wanting to plant bulbs this year. Maybe it's your first time planting bulbs or tulips specifically. Um, do your homework, do your research, buy from reputable companies. Um, check out your local garden centers. I will do that as well. Um, I will still, even though I've got 400 coming from Color Blends and I've got 20 or 30 coming from Holland Bulb Farms, I will still go to my local garden centers and they'll set up the fun bulk bins and you can go and just grab handfuls of bulbs. I like doing that too. So I will still do, still do that as well. But just make sure you get from good reputable sources and you've done your homework get them in the ground appropriately, and have fun. So now is the time to do your dreaming, do your planning for next spring in the dead of heat. The cicadas are going as loud as they can, but now's the time, guys. Get on your websites, get in your magazines, and have fun shopping for your bulbs. Until next time, from my garden to yours, I wish you all the best and happy gardening.